Hi guys, welcome back to another itch.io free-to-play walkthrough. Today we have Necromancer, which the creator does, he did say um, this is kind of a short game, but if he gets more funding he would make more, and I did not look at the keys because I'm dumb and I already got hit by something. How do I use the spells? Menu. No, okay. That did not tell me how to play. One moment. <laughs> oh, everything was trying to kill me. Um... Have could you, uh, space bar, space bar. That's the one. Okay. okay. But something I was thinking about is I was. How do I turn? Can I only shoot in one direction? Hmm. Something I was thinking about doing is like doing an HIO game of the week. Since I do understand these guys are making games for free, and I'm kind of playing them for free. Well, I'm definitely paying, playing them for free. But like having a little competition to like give the best game of the week like five bucks or something since it would be my own money, own money and I'm poor so I think five bucks is a pretty good starting spot and then maybe if I ever make money off of this I'll raise the reward who knows fabulous prizes for everyone but that's just something I'm thinking about I just need to figure out like a voting system so people can vote on which game they think is the best of the week or I can just decide myself but this box is get off me god dang I'm trying to have a thought and the box just was attacking me oh this game doesn't have sound it's alright though so you can add your oh that's a boss get off <laughs> it's fast it can go through the box what's the point of the box just to mess me up oh you like instant type alright you was not ready boss man oh that's the end I can't read that congrats you have finished the game thanks man is that it? No, you win. Uh, right. He did say he's gonna add more stuff though. People support the game, so if you like shooters, bullet hell kind of games, yeah, go help him out. There will be a link in the description. I'm gonna go find another game because that was obscenely short. What looks like a fun game? This looks like a fun game. It has a kitty cat. Oh, we're playing this. It's called Out of the Bag. A fun kitty cat game. It's actually just called out of the bag, but it looks like a fun kitty cat game. Play that. Oh, we're gonna play that. But I don't even really like cats in real life because they're dicks. <laughs> but video game cats are okay. They don't hurt my feelings and betray me. Sorry guys, I'm just extracting the game. Don't judge me. Oh, I'm way too hyper. I think I only slept for like three hours after doing like a World of Warcraft binge. I'm tired. I'm a sleepy boy. <laughs> Extract faster, computer. I think I'm gonna do like a, there's gotta be like a survey website where I can get people to vote. And then we'll try that first, but if nobody votes, I'll just kind of choose on my own. And then eventually, eventually people might vote. And then, yeah, we'll have that and it'll be dope. I think it's a good idea. Cause then one, I'm supporting the indie gamers. And two, kind of fun to see who wins the competition. All right, this is out of the bag. It's a kitty cat game. See the kitty cat? It's a kitty cat game. Break me off a bit of that kitty cat bar. Uh, preferences? I don't want anything sad. That's my preference. I want happy. Is happy your preference? Why is there no sound? Where's my sound at? Wait a second. There's got to be sound in this game. There's even sound volume. There's got to be sound. Maybe there was sound in the other game. I just didn't hear it. Oh! My thing beeped at me. All right, let's see if the sound starts when I start the game. Boom! Okay, cool. Sound! Let me turn up my audio for you guys. It's a warm afternoon in late spring when Tanaba Kaname finds himself following his usual route home for school through Yasuhara Forest. On another day, he may have made the walk home with Nasume, but his friend had seemingly disappeared not long after class finished. What? While part of him can't help but worry that it may have 
that it may have some kind of sp supernatural connection. Reading is hard with Nasume. He could have just as easily forgotten to run an errand for Toko. He's so caught up in his own... Man, he has got a nose. He's like me. We both have nose brothers. He's so caught up in his own thoughts. However, that loud noise that hit hits his ears almost bowls him over. <coughs> oh, oh. Was, it loud? was that loud for y'all? That was loud for me. A growl. Ah, what was that? Now that the noise has brought his attention to it, Taname notices something is off about the nearby woods. The forest is normally bustling with noise from chirping birds and cicadas, but the cat killed them all. And the few yokai powerful enough for him to hear. Oh, he sees demons, but now it's dead quiet. For those that don't know, yokai are Japanese demons, I do believe. I really should get home. But... This might have something to do with Nasume. Both of these are yes answers. There's not one where it's like, huh, maybe I should go home and not mess with the evil cat that's growling. He quickly pushes through the forest, scanning for any sight of movement. Once he's further into the forest, the sound slowly starts to come up back to him. Don't growl at me. He can just barely make out a faint of growling sounds in the distance, along with the weirdly familiar voice of a middle-aged man. Oi, get out of there, you little scamp. <laughs> what is that? Ponta? Eh? Eh? Oh, it's a old man cat. Oh, it's just that monk's brat. What are you doing here? I heard a weird yowl, and I was curious, but I guess it was just you. You insolent, as if a, a dignified creature such as myself would make such a racket. Does that mean it wasn't? That is exactly what that means. Good, good process of elimination. You're figuring it out, Taname Kaname. Is his name Taname? No, it's Tanama Kaname. I was like, Taname Kaname. I like that. Or is he just being snooty? Sitting at Taname, Tanama notices that what Nyanko Sensei is looking at. Lying in front of the cat is a familiar, very familiar beige school bag. Wait, that's... Isn't that Natsume's? Is he here with you? <laughs> Heck if I know. I just found his stuff lying here. If you don't know what, where he is, then he's probably gone and gotten himself caught up in something stupid again. Ding. Just imagine the cat spitting into a bucket with that noise. As he gets closer to look at it, Tanama notices that something about this bag is off. Quick save. <laughs> It looks bigger than usual, like it's being stuffed with clothes. Except it can't be clothes, because those definitely don't move. Wow, my dude is so smart. <laughs> Wait, is there something in here? In there? Took you long enough to notice. Some annoying creature seems to have made itself home in that idiot's bag and doesn't want to leave. Oh my god, he's been turned into a cat. A creature? Whoa, look at them eyeballs. The bag shifts slightly, and Tanama realizes he can clearly see eyes staring back at him from the depths of Natsume's bag. Natsume's a cat now. It sends shiver down his spine as it dawns on him that this creature and Natsume's appearance or disappearance are likely connected. For Natsume just to leave his bag here, something must have... Tanama is so focused on his train of thought that he also misses the bag, shifting further as if the creature is trying to attack. Break out. Ah! <laughs> ah! It's so loud. Oh. Yeah, that sounds a huge sigh of relief. <sighs> it's just a cat. Now that's Natsume. The cat stares up at him, hesitant to leave the bag, but not making much of a fuss as it... Had been with Nyanko Sensei. So you were the one making all the noise. What is it, a cow? What are you doing in Natsume's bag, though? Well, I'm glad you're not a yokai, at least. Seeing that the, seeing that the cat has mostly calmed down, Tanamo reaches out his hand toward it. The cat is wary at first, but reaches 
forward to sniff his hand before rubbing the side of his fuzzy cheeks against his fingers. Murr. Murr. <laughs> Tonimo laughs. Mildly amused. I wasn't laughing because I said Tonimo laughs. Mildly amused that he never thought ever th he, that he'd ever thought this creature posed any danger to anyone, but it does. You know, it's a pity that Nasume is not here. He'd love this. Now that the cat has finally revealed itself, he's been able to get a closer look at it. You look just like Natsume. It's a small, short-haired cat with sandy brown fur. It doesn't look particularly feral, though it's certainly not as well-fed as Nianko sensei Actually, now that you mention it, you kind of look a, a bit, a little bit like him. What? The fur is kind of the same, and the eyes. Heh. <laughs> it's scrawny looking as him, too. Tanuma. Tanuma! had mostly intended the comment as a joke, but now that he thought about it, he couldn't s still couldn't shake his nagging worries over Natsume's disappearance. Unless... Ha ha ha, no way, that'd be ridiculous. While he said that, a part of him still couldn't dis fully dismiss the idea. It wasn't completely out of left field compared to some of the things Natsume had dealt with before, after all. Shut up, fly. Save. They've, they've, but then again, what is it, brat? You don't think this cat might actually be Nasume? Anko says that's kind of creepy. Could be. I can't say I know of any, but a yokai turning human into beast is certainly possible. Wait, seriously? Tadamo's taking it back. I'd assume the Yanko since they would have just laughed at him for suggesting such a thing. Now it was actually seeming like a serious possibility. Is there any way we could find out? I mean, it does smell like him, but it's also been rolling around in his bag for 20 minutes, so I can't exactly tell. We could always try asking it, though. Oi, brat, is that you? <coughs> Fuck. That's so loud. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Pretty sure that's just how any cat would react. Well, you got any better ideas? Hanuma pauses and then stretches out his hand out again. Hey there, is that you, Natsume? The cat is cautious at first, but rubs Tanuma's hand before climbing out of the bag. <coughs> Tanuma gently strokes the cat's fur while looking closer at his face. The cat's eyes are a light hazel color and surprisingly similar to Natsume's right down to even the pupils. While Natsume's eyes had seemed fairly ordinarily, or fairly ordinary at first glance, Tanuma could swear that they sometimes appeared slitted like a cat's. When the light changed or no, Yokai was nearby, he'd always assumed it was his eyes playing tricks on him. After all, nobody else ever acknowledged it. But now he felt like he might have to reconsider. Although he hated to admit what they had, what that said about the amount of time he spent staring into Natsume's eyes. Maybe it really is. Tanuma is interrupted by the rustling of nearby bushes. That sound is then followed by an uncannily close, but somehow muffled speech that Tanuma has come to associate with powerful yokai. Great. It sounds like the locals are here. They find out about this, we'll never hear the end of it. Take this thing back to your place. We can figure out whether it's him or not later. Nyanko disappears in a puff of smoke, and the cat hisses loudly. Hey, wait. <sighs> Do I really have to? Murr? The bushes, the bushes rustle again. Ah, uh, fine. Tatum scoops up the frazzled cat in one arm and grabs Natsume. Now much lighter bag than the other. I really hope I'm not wrong about this. <coughs> Please, cat. To be continued. That's pretty neat. I like that. It's a pretty short visual novel, but it's dope. There's no spelling, not many spelling mistakes if there are any. They're not like super noticeable, unlike some visual novels when they're made by indie people. It was pretty good. I liked it. I liked the cat. The cat noises were very uh, realistic. I'm kind of interested in where the story's going. A little bit predictable. I think honestly what's going to happen is, is this is just going to be a random cat and he's going to think it's Natsume, but then Natsume is going to show up. 
that's what I think is going to happen, but that's just a prediction. But yeah, I'm actually giving serious thought to doing like a itch.io game of the week thing where I can donate like five dollars to the winner. Um, so I'm gonna just try to figure out how I'm going to do that. But thanks for watching as always. If you could, please like and subscribe.